All right, season three just dropped. That means uh, we are somebody in season three. So let's just take a moment to see what was added, what was changed, and what remained the same. So, welcome to season three. Before getting started with this new content this season offers, review the latest patch notes. That's what we're going to do. So there are going to be six new 6v6 multiplayer maps. Emergency six-star tanked, grow house, and then two later grime and checkpoint. Of those, three are new, three are reimagined. Capture the flag is going to return, as will one in the chamber. Now, if you play one in the chamber, that's really, I think, a knifer game. They don't expect you to actually shoot people. But I could be wrong about that. Later, minefield and ex, uh, escort. Capture the flag I'm not really big on. I know it's classic. There are going to be four new weapons. A submachine gun that they say has best-in-class CQC damage and mobility. So that may be a bear. I'd probably get that one first so that you won't be disappointed later. A new sniper rifle. A single-load railgun. Excellent velocity and penetration. To me, that equates to slow to aim down sights, but I guess we'll see. A melee weapon called the Gladiator. Concealable punch knife used by gamblers and politicians. So when you go to shake a politician's hand, stand back from knifing range. And an assault rifle. Increased fire rate over time when the tr trigger is squeezed. First four shots are slow but highly accurate. And then there's a number of aftermarket parts. I suppose we'll be seeing those with the weekly challenges. More to come on that. An EMD mine in season and enhanced vision goggles in season. EMD mine is a proximity mine triggered, proximity triggered mine, excuse me, that sticks to surfaces. Once triggered, it shoots out tracker devices that reveal the enemy location. So if you want to take one for the team, use an EMD mine. Enhanced vision goggles. It's a field upgrade. Toggle between normal vision and enhanced vision with integrated target highlighting. Has a limited battery, meaning it doesn't last long. New perks, a compression carrier vest. Let's see, looks like four vests and one piece of gear. Assisted healing and gas protection. I think we already have both. Lethal and tactical scavenger. We have a... Oh, we don't necessarily have those. That's something new. That's interesting. Secondary weapon specialist with gunslinger vest. Reinforced boots, immune to movement reduction. And then a piece of gear is a high gain antenna. The mini map is zoomed out for you and nearby allies. You have some new operators. Be prepared to pull out your wallet, maybe for those. Thought we already had Snoop Dogg. Oh, we got Cheech and Chong. <laughs> Jabornik, come here. New events. We'll see those as they arrive. And then there's some corrections here for the user interface, bug fixes. Let's see if there's anything. Yeah. Gameplay. Decrease the obstructive viewing while firing Modern Warfare 2 weapons to align them with Modern Warfare 3 standards. That's a good news because there's some very good Modern Warfare 2 weapons. You get extra XP if you come in with a party. 25% for 2 or 3. Well, 25% rank and weapon for 2. 25% rank weapon and battle pass. If you bring three of your friends and four plus 30% across the board increase. 
And they added an armory unlock challenge for the tray bucket brake muzzle attachment. I think I've tried to use that, but it's been locked. But anyway, bring four plus of your bros or get your mama to sign on and die or get gacked and collect your money there. So there are some changes to maps. Most of the ones they addressed exploits, spawns, renamed shipments to shipment, and made it the permanent experience. That's good. I can never see the, the, the Overwatch, the helicopters, whatever, at night up in the sky. And you can scroll through those. Some changes to private match. And snipers only, which is limited time. It went away. Restricted kill streaks to UAV, advanced UAV, and MGB. Good. Disabled melee attacks. This is awesome. I saw a guy drop a freaking nuke using only melees it's snipers only but a third of the people were uh were using melees and it really was ruining the experience some buffs and nerfs the ram 7 decrease got a nerf decreasing the neck damage by 23 percent oof the Holger 556 decreased damage in upper leg, lower leg, and foot by 15%. MCW decreased the headshot damage multiplier, meaning that a headshots are going to be worthless. The G DG56 increase, got a nerf increase sprint to fire time. The in battle rifles, the subverter increased sprint to fire time. It got a nerf, nerf to the aim down sight speed. Pretty insignificant for both. The Bass B, the king of the battlefield, decreased the rate of fire by 10% and nerfed recoil center spread by 6%. I don't know if we have to worry about that. And that infamous Jack Outlaw 277 kit, they've messed with that again. They buffed the sprint to fire time, the aim down sight time, de buffed the aim down sight rate of fire penalty, buffed the damage for medium range, and buffed the damage for minimum range. So now all of a sudden it's a Maximum of two shot kills to any body location. Of course, one shot to the head. This is one that they have been playing with because YouTube creators whined about it when it was first released. Another buff to the Sidewinder. That thing's now pretty powerful. It started out being the worst gun, in my opinion, in Modern Warfare 3, and now it's pretty attractive. Not as attractive as Grandpa Newbie, but it's getting there. And decrease the sprint to fire time by nine percent increased bullet velocities in a significant way 28 percent. so now it's better at longer ranges moving to the smgs ram 9 got a nerf to the oh a buff to the sprint to fire time ram 9 is already pretty powerful amr 9 which is also powerful got a buff to the sprint to fire time of 28 percent we're going to see a lot more of those and the pros meta the rival 9 nerfed the sprint to fire time nerfed medium range damage or near medium range damage nerfed medium range damage nerfed damage multiplier to the torso lower arm in hand so i don't know if they've buried this thing if they've nerfed it in the ground or not hrm9 nerfed the sprint to fire time by 17 percent 
striker nine minimally nerfed the sprint to fire time you won't be able to tell three milliseconds the striker increased nerfed the sprint to fire time by 10 percent wsp9 significant nerf to the sprint to fire time 25 percent and the wsp swarm nerfed the sprint to fire time by 13 percent so we might not be seeing as many of the wsp nines and wsp swarms out there shotguns added a long haul and wolf call 300 muzzle attachment so i'll be anxious to see what those look like switching to the lmg nerfed the tack of Alvra. sprint to fire time minimally five percent you're not going to be able to tw- tell 12 milliseconds probably increase the aim down sight speed nerfed it by eight percent and you might be able to handle that with an attachment nerfed the damage for the neck multiplier by 14 percent for the 556 belt nerfed the rate of fire by eight percent so i i don't know i think it's still going to be pretty solid bruin mark nine buffed the ads speed by 15 percent Ooh, it's at 350 milliseconds that's pretty quick and the modern warfare 2 rowl nerfed the sprint to fire time nerfed the ads significantly buffed the neck damage multiplier buffed by 30 percent by the way buffed the upper torso by 20 percent and buffed the leg and foot damage multipliers by 11 percent so the row may be something you want to try i think i might do a video on it getting to the marksman rifles the mtz interceptor nerfed aim down sight speed minimally nerfed medium range damage nerfed minimum damage and nerfed medium near medium damage uh it's probably is going to perform about like it did before for the sniper rifles the stalker nerfed the aim down sight time to 600 milliseconds that's pretty slow but it's only three percent so your attachments will probably handle that kv inhibitor nerfed by seven percent the ads and the spx 80 i think that's the king of the sniper battlefield increased sprint to fire time by 15 percent which may or may not have an effect not the way i play nerfed aim down sight speed by four percent which probably will mock snicks for handguns tire got a buff minimum damage range for the snake shot and we're going to start to see a lot of those from 14.5 meters to 19.6 meters that's a 35 percent buff and the wasp stinger in a kimbo mode got a 25 percent increase in rate of fire so you're gonna run out of the bullets quicker i'm not going to go through all these attachment changes you can look at those yourself for perks quick grip gloves increase the weapon swap speed benefit by minimum of 40 percent that's a significant buff Ordnance gloves added 20% equipment field upgrade and kill streak use benefit. And marksman gloves resolved an issue, causing 15% sway reduction benefit to not apply. So they're going to be stronger. Some equipment changes three tactical, two lethals, the stun grenade decreased victim slowness duration to 300 milliseconds, so it won't be as effective as aim slowness effective has been removed if you have the tack mask which you should have in many situations 
And finally, for the stun grenade, the victim movement and aim slowness now linearly scales down through the stun duration, meaning it's a, a ramp going to zero now. So your senses will come back probably quicker. The decoy grenade... Uh, I can read that. Flash grenade, tactical, decreased close range stun duration by 13%. Nerf that. But they buffed the medium range stun duration and the far range stun duration by 122% for that one. Frag grenade, lethal, decreased the inner explosive damage. And so there's a nerf and nerf the intermediate explosive damage down to 130. So intermediate distances will not be a one grenade kill. The inner explosives will still be in your inner ring will be two, 250 to 225. Always a one grenade kill. The thermite buffed the damage tick rate. By 100%, decrease the near range by 30, ooh, 34%, decreased outer range, incendiary damage by 33%, so a significant nerf in those two areas. All changes considered, the incendiary damage output of the thermite is increased by 33%. So they're trying to get ahead of the people complaining. Thermobaric grenade got a buff across the board. The drill charge got a nerf. C4 got a bit of a nerf. Breacher drone got a buff. Field upgrades. Addressed issues. Kill streaks with the SAE addressed an issue. Same with the Wilson. And the Swarm got a significant buff said that they went into effect prior to season three and that's where we're going to cut it off i don't i don't do ranked um you, i can scroll through that slowly so you can have a look you're going to maintain your skill rating between seasons few reminders few rewards and there you have it so anyway there it is let's get into it Let's go. See you in season three. Cheers.